there's a new DLC coming out. So I thought, um, why not show off a little bit of what it has to offer? Probably should go over the tech tree first. <laughs> yeah, there's the Arminians and the Go uh, Georgians. Defensive and cattle salvation start with a mule cart, but minus 50 food. Fortified churches provide villagers in a tent high radius with plus 10% work rate. Units and buildings receive minus 50% damage when fighting from higher elevation. Cavalry regenerates 5 HP per minute. Feudal 10 in castle, 15 in imperial age. The unique unit is the Moraspa, which is a cavalry unit. And they have, in terms of unique techs, the Swan Tower. Uh, which gives defensive villains to attack and towers shoot piercing projectiles, which is quite cool. And the Arsenal recovery recovery units take 15% less population space, so it can really boom up nicely and then just spam a whole lot of paladins, I guess. And also, their buildings cost 50% fuel to repair as a team bonus. Yeah, and as you can see here, the Amins do have um, a Nacher. As the unique unit, okay. And now you already see one of the new additions in this DLC, which is the mule cart. Which is, as you can see here, there's stone, there's gold, there's wood. So it's basically a lumber camp and mining camp um, in one. Um, and it can move. It doesn't need to set up anything it can just can research the tech upgrades here as well it says 300 hp so it's reasonable tanky for a unit uh, there's a first ball zoom out small a little bit okay um are they louder than the lines for others, just sort of just not used to them. Who knows? It does have some here. Yeah. But the settler wagons, no, that was 8 3, the citizens. Well, I mean, those guys can't work, they only act as a drop off point. Which I think in, in Age of Mythology, only the Atlantans didn't need them. Stay at the cars with them. Next time, show where the drop off point of the concept has been well dropped in the series. Might also be only in AOE 3 that it's, it's been introduced. Anyways, 3 on wood. Next one should get the ball. Ah, there's my ship. Ah, there's two of them. What I like about this edition here is that it definitely does change the Dark Age a little bit. And I find that's always interesting to have such things in the game. Because usually Dark Age is very, very samey in many situations. Actually, I think a little bit of radiation there with new saves. I greatly appreciate that. And also the idea of um, having a mule card, which really means you don't have to replace your lumber camps all the time, because the woodland has moved too far away from them. That sounds quite quite fun. Okay, let's get actually you will get this ball. It was a little bit too late. The timing is not on point here. Okay, I want to build fortified churches as well in Castle Age. We'll just straight up make my economy go very hard. Wait, where do I get these though? I can I can build them like a, okay, that's cool. Like what do I build a building? I just build a mule cart. And they cost 20 food in addition. 
Okay, we got the second part. Hey, Sirak, hello, hello. There we go. Okay, now is the time I noticed I didn't set the ship here earlier. Lovely. Okay. So, yeah, Gorgians. That's that's what I'm playing here. And I have absolutely no idea what I want to go for in terms of build order, but that's okay. It's, it's only hard AI. How bad can it be? Probably still want some wards though. Also, do I. I think I'm still missing two sheep. Famous, in, indeed. Like having the fortified churches with the gathering bonus there. It's not a tech, right? It's enabled by default, yes. Just a flat boost of 10% work rate I, on, on basic army villages. That's, that's very, very nice. But walling and RGD are probably not the most wise action. Should have pushed those, but uh, I don't know. Pushing this, I. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that this hurts me more than it helps, at least with my macro. It's strange because usually my macro is the best thing about my gameplay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. Do I want to do anything military-wise in field ledge? I have regenerating HP on my scouts. Is that a good thing? I mean, it's, it's better than not having it, but does this enable you to do really annoying things with their scouts aggressively? Maybe. Maybe I should go for scouts. Oh, I Okay, keep the mule cart as close to the wood line as possible here. <sighs> I need farms and I think double stable. If I could afford that. <laughs> okay, I'm on a little bit behind here, but I think with a little bit of aggression, a little bit of pressure. Oh, I don't want those idols here. Military production, of course. Uh, oh yeah, keep the scouts. My cool thing is that I don't need to build it. No. Okay, you need to use the the um, what was it? Alt click mode here for the mule cut. Otherwise, it will just try to run at the other side of your. Um, of your lumber line. Which you don't want. Okay, and the house. Look it. Uh, let's get we now in that case. So the hits from the pesky bulls. Yeah, I mean everyone's still just that's that's quite nice. Okay, we're going to close scout very soon. Um, I think I need another mule card. Okay. This should be pretty good. Oh, I don't have a blacksmith just yet. Okay, let's run out, heal up again. Blacksmith. I'll just finish this ball. 
So I think I still want one here. Okay. I think the double stable was maybe wait and should be producing here. Okay. Oh, villager production still goes. Oh, come on. Okay, get this going. And turn it over again. This tower is actually quite far away from everything else, so as long as there's no spears around. That should be pretty good. So took the skull lead here. Okay, the mule parts actually don't run away when they're being attacked. That is... I mean, they're technically building, so... It's a bit hard for an eye to figure that out. Oh, what is sucks with them? What? Uh, what? Um, there's a pikeman here. <laughs> That's not good. And they cast late as well. Okay. How badly can this pikeman slaughter all the lights? I don't know. Well, they, we killed a fair number of villagers. We still got the score lead. We'll have the. Um, Castle Age soon as well. I'm just gonna get infantry one age early earlier. Oh look, they also didn't find all the sheep. Let's just be a fair player here. Safety Castle Age. Anything especially exciting in Castle Age? Uh, we have a unique unit. Um, I don't think that we want to get those towers here since we are kind of on the um, on the offensive. We'll just add knights, I guess. Maybe. Where's my this is my stone? No, there's this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I just kind of feel like booming a little bit here. Hmm. So we'll go totally into knights and just. Yeah, the monastery. That's 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 very good. We have tons of resources for that. They only cost wood as well, so that's good. I think we we created enough space for ourselves. So she got the storm by upgrade. Town center here. That's a range of ten. Ooh, that's a nice building. And one over here. So there's wood line, the gold, so everything is being affected here. Get the upgrades. Ok. 
Okay, shouldn't sleep on the military there, otherwise air will come around and fight us because it's actually quite quite close here. Let's get this done, we got ten percent extra war reflection everybody, which is nice. Let's get monks here as well while we at it. Get the stone. Okay, I have no way in gold at the moment. Get the basic gold money upgrade. Okay, I need addition in from the fortified church here. Ah, uh, use to train and upgrade monks garrison relic to grant gold. Builders monks can garrison inside for protection. Builders and relics provide additional projectiles. The relics actually make them shoot. That's cool. Okay. I think it could be quite interesting on arena, maybe. Have to garrison your monks back in and then also shoot with the relics. But there will, of course, also be a, a risk uh, letting the relics at a point where enemies are nearby. Hey! No. There we go. Easy. Yeah, I need more golds. Okay, 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 okay. Get you arms. Get you arms. off. Get you arms. Get you arms. Get you Get you arms. 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 Get you Stables here. And more to gold. Those guys are gone. Get a lovely castle here though. Market though. Um, Yeah, a lot of resources. <laughs> Just piling up here. Get 
Let's see, maybe another castle as well. Now we can get the Monaspa. I kind of want to try the uh, the towers actually. Let's see what they can do. The university, of course, for the upgrades. Because technically, the towers with the splash damage sounds very, very fun indeed. Yeah. Oh, and we took the relic. There it is. This guy has twelve plus three. To Castle is quite nice. I got a nice, nice blend of rock and um, stone. He's twelve plus two now. That is actually the range of other um, twelve plus one. Okay. Let's move another guy here. Still 12 plus 1. Okay, he needs 2 for another attack. Damage. Still the same. Okay, with 3 additional ones, he's at 12 plus 3. Is there a cap? The holy should be a cap. Probably with four additional ones, he's at 12 plus four. Oh, Imperial Age, yeah. Um, let's do that. Still not 12 plus four. What's it mind? Hey! There we go. Get you close to the wood line. Okay, lovely. It's time to push a bit. Of course, they can train the two swordsmen and holiday in the castle edge. So things one edge sooner. That should give you some quite nice use. Okay, okay, now 12 plus 4 with 12 other guys here. Let's get higher. Twelve plus five indeed. Twelve plus six. Okay, we're onto something. There is the Imperial Age. Also get uh, arrow slots. I research this very, very rarely. Normally. And what? Let's get another fortified church. Yes. Now things are getting spicy. Why can you finish this? Okay, 
Okay, we're missing a lot of grits here at the moment. Maybe it's not the university. As long as we can get those. It's a 20 attack already, okay. And we're still not of. You've got Bracer. They got a unique uh, triangle castle. Interesting. Okay, keep. Let's get architecture here. Oh, this splash damage is nasty. <laughs> well, it's not splash, it's piercing damage, but whatever. That's good. I don't have paladins. Okay, that makes sense. Paladins will probably be a bit stupid with the this upgrade here. Let's move you forward. There's another relic. Let's get that one as well. Twenty-two damage on the Monaspa. Four towers. Get you out. Get you out. Get you out. Get you I can get beyond that. Does this thing shoot? Yes. Hmm. I think it's it's time to just end this here. We saw a thing. Most of the things so we can get the personal recovery. So gold at the back. Oh yeah, of course hotkeys. I I really like the the meal cards. Do they actually move with the pledges forward? Uh, with the monasteries where you can garrison and which also shoot when you are the monks and relics inside and stuff. Um, but sure, do the monks actually shoot? Let's check that. Put a church. Um, villages and monks can garrison. Villages and relics provide additional projectiles. Okay. Oh, they do have base attack already. And then, okay, that's additional. The additional part of the additional projectiles. A hey, big sad. Hello. Welcome and thank you for that uh, lovely subscription there. Um, do I come at Trebuchet's? Maybe I should. Ay, ay. Yeah, those cops at Bowman, they look very unimpressed, but I think they have something going. Oh, oh yeah, okay, another Thomas. <laughs> that is, um... Oh yeah, they have zero pierce armor. But 
that's that's uh, how we do it here. It is. Little guys, 22 attack damage. Also, 8 at 6 armor. Ah, I think they're very cool. Also, just to see how the minions play with uh, both archers and um, infantry as a focus there. Usually one of those things outshines the others. And design so should be interesting. Yeah, what this now is a matter of time. Should get some light care for this, yeah. Okay, I'll try as well. Hello, hello. These towers are very cool. Are they as, as good as the Yasuma Towers? Probably not, but um, I think it's it's a good thing that there's <laughs> nothing else like that in the game. Stay very good. And as fun as it is to build an unbreakable defense, it is well as fun to try to break said unbreakable defense. So, oh, yeah, they actually do move the mule cards. See that? That's very cool. Well, most of them do. Maybe I just need to send them to wood. And then they will continue walking to the nearest wood. It looks like it. Hmm. And there we go. I could not replant the berries. Heavens the best. How do you. Uh, can I still show you that? Um. No, I can't. I basically build them like uh, lumber camps or mining camps, but instead of building, it's a unit. And they also cost 20. They do cost 20. Food in addition to 100. Um, good. The Georgians start with one, uh, but have 50 less food, I should. I mean, you get 120 resources. 450, but you can train one less village at the start. Is that worth it? Uh, I mean, it's 50 for 100. I mean, you don't have less villages, but you can queue less villages right at the beginning. Probably Spirit of the Law will do the numbers here. Yeah. <laughs>